Sora 2 just released and people are already making crazy memes using it. But nobody is talking about Sora 2's image to video capabilities, which is insane. Just take a look at what I created with three images. So, what's so good about Fishville? The best thing is that it has no sharks. No sharks? Yeah. And... Dare disturb my slumber, <laughs> little monkey. Come at me, old snake. You got 30 seconds, hurry. I can see that. Cut the yellow, no, wait. Which one? Red, red. Cut the red wire. What makes Sora too different from other video models is it makes your generations look like the perfect reel. Uh, Sam? Meow. The reason why this happens is because Sora 2 is trained on a massive mix of video data, so the AI knows exactly how to frame your generations to look and feel viral worthy. But you still need to know how to prompt correctly, because if you do it wrongly, your results will end up like this. You picked the wrong mountain to slither up, snake. Let's dance. I'll also show you how to access Sora 2 if you don't have it yet, along with how to remove those annoying watermarks. The first animation we'll be creating is this Pixar fish animation. Honestly, I got inspired by Finding Nemo, and yes, I'm definitely getting old. So the first thing we need to do is to generate our images, which will serve as the first frame for the video. The image model I use is called Seadream 4.0 and the platform I use to generate both the images and all the videos is called OpenArt. The reason I use OpenArt is because it has all the top image and video models in one place, including Seadream 4.0 and Sora 2. It also generates everything watermark free. So that's a huge bonus. To generate your images, click on images and select Seadream 4.0 as your image model. You can also use Nano Banana, but I personally prefer Seadream because it produces higher resolution and more detailed images. Here's my image prompt, and to explain it, I'm basically describing what I want, like the visual style, what my characters look like, and I also describe the environment. If you want the full prompt, you can find it in the description below. For the settings, make sure it's 16 by nine, and this is the resolution I picked. After generating a few times, I really like this result right here. So now we have our image, it's time to create our video, which is the fun part. Head over to video and upload the image we generated. Then for the video models, we select Sora 2. They have two options to generate your video, fast and pro. The pro model is three times the price of the fast model, but from my experience, it definitely has noticeable quality differences. If you have the credit, I'd recommend using the pro, but all the generations you saw in the intro were created using the fast model. So let's select that. Now I want to explain how to properly prompt because a lot of people get this step wrong. Most people will prompt something really simple Simple. Like in this example, if you prompt the fishes are talking while swimming forwards, you'd probably get a result like this. Sand back there, it was like the whole ocean was sparkling. I saw it. I also saw a crab eyeing us like we were lunch. He was way too slow to catch us. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad at all. And Sora 2 is one of the video models that can produce amazing results from simple prompts. But if you want to produce something that is more complex with a lot of details you want to include it, then you'd have to be way more detailed. For the video you saw in the intro, this is the prompt I used. It might look like a lot, but the best part is you don't even need to write all of that. I created a ChatGPT bot for you that will give out detailed prompts like this and all you need to do is briefly explain your scene. The link for the bot is in the description down below and I made it completely free, so go check it out. So in the bot, we drag and drop our image and here's where we give some context to the bot. I'll type, this is my image and I want you to create an eight second scene. The conversation goes like this. So here's the full conversation and now I'll hit generate. You can see that the bot will create the full scene including all the camera angles and the sound effects which is very helpful for us all you need to do now is copy the prompt go back to open art and paste the prompt here for the duration select eight seconds and hit create and after all of that here's my result so what's so good about fishville the best thing is that it has no sharks no sharks yeah and it's a bit different than the one I showed you earlier in this video, but honestly, both are great. For the second video we're creating, we're creating a video game cutscene. 
The character is called Sun Wukong and he's a Chinese mythological character. I was originally going to do Kratos from God of War, but Sora AI has a strict policy where you cannot use any third party characters or use any real person unless they cameo themselves. So that didn't work out at all. If you're generating images to videos and if your character looks hyper realistic, then the moderation might kick in and it'll block your generation. Honestly, it's very annoying and people are even making memes right about up. it. Huh? What is this? I can't, it won't let me. Let me paint! That's it. Ah, I'm coming for you, Sam Altman. The reason my monkey character got through is because it's not copyrighted, but if you want to make a joke about your favorite characters or celebrities, unless they are cameoed, then you'll probably run into issues. So here's the image I generated of Sun Wukong. Again, I used Ctream 4.0 and the full prompt is in the description. To create the video, we once again click on videos and select Sora 2 as the video model. Now for the prompt, I head over to my chat GPT bot, upload my image, and I ask it to generate me a prompt of Wukong having a pre-battle conversation conversation with a giant serpent, but also Wukong has to be in character since he is known to be annoying. It generated me this awesome dialogue, so let's copy and paste it back to OpenArt. Here's the result. You dare disturb my slumber, <laughs> little monkey? Come at me, old snake. Lastly, let's generate this tense movie scene and the inspiration for this scene was from a Tom Cruise movie. This is the image I generated and just to be extra safe, I didn't generate the face of the guy, but I was also curious to see how Sora 2 would generate the man's face. So this is a good test for it. To create the prompt, I explained the scene to my GPT bot and it outputs this movie-like scene. I took that prompt into OpenArt, generated it, and this is the final result. You've got 30 seconds, hurry. I can see that. Cut the yellow, no wait. Which one? Red, red. Cut the red wire. Honestly, I think it's pretty amazing. You can see one of the important parts of the whole process is to create a good quality image, because if the input is bad, then there's only so much Sora 2 can do with it. So if you want to generate images and videos using the best AI models, I'd highly suggest using OpenArt, especially since it generates videos with no watermarks. OpenArt is an all-in-one platform that has access to all the top AI models, and I genuinely use it every single day for my AI generations. Now, if you want all my prompts and access to my chat GPT bot, I made it all for free in the description below. But if you're curious and wondering which image model is the best right now, then click the video on the screen because I compared all the top image models in a head-to-head -head battle.